Choosing whether to marry or not, and if and when to have children, is a fundamental human right, enshrined in international law since 1948. But it's a right widely violated in countries around the world. In many African communities, girls are still viewed as commodities to be married off as early as possible. Once married, a girl forfeits the right to make decisions that affect her own and her children's future. These people are celebrating a wedding near Bahiyadar in northern Ethiopia. The Ethiopian Civil Code sets 15 as the minimum age of marriage for girls. But in rural areas like this, ignorance of the law is widespread and tradition deep-rooted. Today's bride is just four years old. Just a few miles away, preparations are being made for another marriage. Oh. <laughs> Nibret is 11. Tomorrow she'll be handed over to her husband's family. Neither Nibret nor her grandparents, who have raised her since her parents' death, have ever seen the groom. All the arrangements for the marriage have been made by a mediator. <laughs> We don't trust our cattle to last, and one of us could die, so we like to betroth our children now, so they can begin their independent lives. And the other family will also give the children some cattle and some farmland. They too want to see the children established before they die, and we all gain new relatives. Later that night, the groom's party arrives. The groom might or might not be among the dancers, as he does not disclose his identity at this stage. Nibret is kept hidden from view in a nearby hut, chaperoned by her married sister. Though this is normal practice in the countryside, now in Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, a group of women lawyers has banded together, determined to enforce the law and change attitudes. Original Georgis is a founding member of the Ethiopian Women Lawyers Association. The association started to campaign against child marriage because of overwhelming evidence that the minimum age laws were being abused. People saying that girls um, are not, um, don't get sexual intercourse until the age of 15 is a myth because this girl is only 12, she's already married, she's divorced, and she's selling liquors for her living. Down here, this is um, a 10 year old girl. When she first came to us, we were so shocked that we took her pictures to remind us that there is a lot to do. Early marriage um, is very very rampant in the northern part of Ethiopia. Girls of 8, 9, 10, 11 are married. And the parents do that for economic reasons, for alliances with good families, and then because they have no alternative to give to their girl children, if they don't get married early, they think that they, they are, there is nowhere to put them or to give them. So they want to get rid of them as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, Nibret's grandfather and the other men are finalizing the marriage contract. The process is supervised by a mediator who represents the family of the groom. Exchanges of property are carefully negotiated and noted. In another part of the village, the groom recovers from the night before and waits with his party. He still has not seen his bride. Just across the compound, Nibret's sisters do their best not to disappoint him when the moment comes. If you could choose the perfect bride, what would she be like? I don't really care what she's like. <laughs> what if she was lazy? I'll just kick her out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Are you nervous? Yes, kind of. But are you looking forward to being married? What's there to look forward to? From Bahardar, we have the case of um, um, a, a bride who was nine and a bridegroom who was 12. On the night of the marriage, the bridegroom, because he was a child, cannot, couldn't break the heim. So his attendants, who, who were adults, told him to poke the bride with an iron. He poked her, and she went to hospital, and she was there for four or for four months. I think the physical injury has healed, but what will come in the future, we don't know. Many similar cases end up in Bahir Dar's only hospital. Sawarag developed a fistula after her husband made her pregnant. A fistula is when